Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. You guys been looking for some puff heat transfer vinyl? Well, I got some for you. So this is from Econo Transfer. It's Econo Puff. It is 20 inches wide, so you may need a larger vinyl cutter, or you can, I think, for like the silhouette and stuff. I might have to buy one so I can experiment with it a little more. But I believe you cut it down on a mat anyway, so you will have to cut some down. So, anyways, just some puff heat transfer vinyl. This is hot pink. Uh, this is the standard pink. Um, we're gonna do one of my favorite colorways in this video, which is pink on black. And then the crazy thing about Econo Puff is that they have a lot of colors, lots of colors. So make sure you check it out. I'll have the link down below, of course. It'll probably be a pinned comment, so be on the lookout for that. But this is our heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed it. We already got the design cut. Um, so we're gonna do the technique where it's easier to weed, which is lowering this bottom heat platen, and then we're gonna weed it on there. And I'm using so thanks to you all, I posted these tweezers a while back and um, I posted a link down below. So thanks to a lot of you ladies who comment, you know exactly what these were. These are eyelash extension tweezers. These are the best thing I found to use for weeding vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, do something like this, and we'll see how this goes. Um, on this design right here, I have some small text. So we'll see how it works. I noticed when I weed it, this is a little tackier than the other puff that I've used. Um, other puff, it slips, it slips like right off a little too easily. So you couldn't really do smaller tacks like that because it wouldn't stick onto the carrier sheet. But I find this one to be a little bit tackier, a little bit tackier, a little bit stickier, and it just might work. So we're gonna try it out. And I don't know if using this technique is too good since this is puff and it might mess it up, but I think it's okay. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. So far, so good, maybe. So, so far, this text right here, I wouldn't have been able to do with the other puff vinyl I've used before. Well, it, it possibly would have been able to be done, but it would have been a little more difficult because the carry sheet is not as sticky. This one's quite sticky, so it did pretty good. The text stayed there. Um, I noticed I'm missing apostrophe next to I and M, so I need to dig out the trash and look for it real quick. But uh, so far, it seems pretty good. It just depends how well it's going to press. Let's for, look for a little apostrophe real quick. It's right there. So what I'm gonna do, this is why I said the tweezers work the best, cause I'm just gonna look for it, grab it with my tweezers, just like that. The focus kinda sucks, so. But I'm just gonna take it and lay it right back on top of where it was supposed to be. As you can see between the letters I and M, with these types of tweezers, these are the best. I haven't used them for years much better than those little picking utensils and ice picks or whatever you want to call it this is this also is not a good position for me this isn't my actual like work position where I weed vinyl but we're making the most out of it all right so I got the front chest piece and this is the back so like I said, this is a 20 inch wide vinyl. So the design we have is about 40, 14 inches vertical and the chest piece is around three and a half to four inches wide. I need to grab some scissors. So I might speed up the video cause it seemed like it might've been a little boring. And I usually don't, and usually if I'm weeding vinyl, I'm doing it right near the trash. So I put it directly in the trash can afterwards. But since I'm not, I just put it directly on the table. And I just use the carrier sheet to pick up the trash. All right, I'm gonna take this t-shirt. There's a Next Level 3600 t-shirt. A lot of you all always ask what kind of shirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Next Level 3600 t-shirt. This one's probably been washed about three, four times. So just give me an idea of the t-shirt. I actually ordered 15 different blank black t-shirts so we can make a different video on that if y'all want me to like wear it and stuff because y'all always ask me what I'm wearing. Anyways, gonna go ahead and do that. That's a pre-press. Take this, and we're gonna see how well it puffs up. All right, 
here we go this is a stall 16 by 20 hotronics by the way auto pop-up worth for every dollar and we're going for 300 to 10 seconds i believe let's see it the puff is there i like it yeah <laughs> puff is awesome man can you see the puff let me know in the comments what is that a piece of lint as I've stated previously, it's kind of hard to see puff on camera, but let's see if I can go like this. Looks pretty good. In person, feels great. I love puff heat transfer vinyl. It just does not feel like vinyl. It feels very premium. Now we're gonna put it on here and we're gonna do the back. The back is a large piece, so this is gonna be awesome. Nice large back piece. All right, hopefully it doesn't press the front down. You know what I mean? Because the front is already uh, puffed up. So hopefully it doesn't mess up the front portion. All right, so I've noticed a few things. So the front is still puffed up. That's, that's good, first of all. What is going on with this focus? It keeps focusing on me. Okay, so the front is still puffed up. That's a good thing. But the back, seeing a few issues here. See in the letter N? The second letter N? Has a few little wrinkles in there. Um, I've also noticed right here. A few little issues there. That might be, I don't know, the vinyl is wrinkled up. But I noticed I also missed this letter R right there. I missed the cavity on it. This is uh, slightly puffed up. So the more space it has, the more solid it is, the more puff is going to be. Like something at its very bottom, which I'm surprised, first of all, that we were able to do this type of small text with puff vinyl and it cut it out just fine. But it's not as puffed up where the only ninjas is. However, it is still slightly raised and compared to regular heat transfer vinyl. And it does still have that puff uh, heat transfer vinyl feel. It doesn't feel like slick, like typical heat transfer vinyl. So, I give it like an 8 out of a 10 maybe. I think we might have just have like a one-off issue with this. Not too sure what's going on. But we have this design. Go ahead and finish weeding this one. I'm, I have a feeling that those little crinkles in the letter N and stuff is because like the actual vinyl itself was crinkled in some portions, but I'm not too sure honestly. Okay, so this design right here, I know the outline portion is not going to come out as great as we've seen recently in the last design. Smaller designs doesn't puff up as much. It still is slightly raised, but it's not going to be you're not gonna get that full on puff effect. So keep that in mind whenever you're creating your uh, designs. All right, so as I was saying, the part that says day sleep, it's not gonna be raised as much as this bottom portion. At least that's what I figure. All right, so let's, let's see how this turns out. We got another t-shirt here, quick little pre-press. You know what also it could have been is the fact that, I don't know if we pre-pressed the back on the last portion, so maybe the actual t-shirt needs to be nice and flat so that we don't get those same wrinkles as we did before. All right, so there we have it. This is our second design. We might even cut out another one just to see if we can fix the letter N. All right, so here's another one. This one looks pretty cool, but still having these little issues. See on the letter T and the letter E on the upper portions, there's like slightly wrinkled areas. But honestly for me, it's not too bad of an issue, but uh, I'm gonna run some trial and error off screen and see if we can get it fixed. Cause I feel like this isn't gonna be and me cut something one more time situation and fix it so um that's pretty much it for this video if 
you guys been looking for some puff we got some we just have a very small issue don't know what it is the front came out just fine front looks dope and then the back for the most part is dope you can't tell from afar it's only if you're up close you'll see the little wrinkles but we'll work on getting that fixed but if you're looking for some puff heat transfer vinyl and you can't find it anywhere else econo puff has it let me know if you guys have already experimented with this and let me know what you guys think about it if you enjoyed this video if this helped you out in any shape form or fashion please comment like subscribe and i'll see you next time <laughs> peace hey hustle ninja thanks for watching remember if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand be sure to check out only ninjas.com also make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay hustling